Hi friends, glad to see you made it. We're gathered here today in the name of Jesus Christ. Glory be to God, He's alive. My friends, today let's let's begin with a prayer. I'm not really sure exactly what I'm going to say, but I just wanted to, to uh, inform you or keep you informed of, you know, what's going on in my life and what I've been doing. Because I'm sure you've noticed, you know, I haven't been around the, the Google world uh, all that often lately. And... Uh, but I just wanted to remind you guys, each and every one of you, uh, that I'm thinking about you all the time. You, Wayne, and, and Jennifer, and uh, Trina, and Diane, and all of you, uh, you know, each and every one of you guys, each and every one of you guys, uh, I'm thinking of you all, even you, <laughs> even you. And so I'm praying for you and all that and you know you may have noticed that in my last few videos met somebody new you know and met Deborah and Deborah's came into my life now and so a lot of my time has been uh, working on, on our foundation a new foundation and the glorious thing of, about God's work is uh, she's like perfect perfectly made and Maybe not for you, but perfectly made for me, and, and oh, it's been real amazing and a great fun uh, walk in this new life, into this new journey as God's about to open new doors, you know, that's the thing in, here in the G Plus world or the Google world or the YouTube world. It's very spiritual, you know, our bodies have been removed, and so it's kind of a spiritual world, a spiritual connection. And now, I believe God here in the future, in the next few steps, is going to begin to open doors in a more physical world, a world more in our direct reality of our lives. And that comes through both me and Deborah. And it's wonderful because she loves God as much as I do. I can preach to her 24 hours a day, and she can preach to me 24 hours a day. She's kind of like... A, uh, street prophet or a street preacher, she she uh, doesn't really like. Well, she does, you know. She ain't gonna blow you down with the word of God, but but she's gonna uh, uh, prophesy over your bones, prophesy uh, blessings and wonderful things. She she's a prayer warrior, wonderful woman, uh, a true servant to the living God, and I am so honored and blessed to to be her servant. A servant of a servant. And she feels great blessed and honored to, to be my servant. A, a servant of the servant, you know, Jesus Christ. But I want you to recognize and understand that I'm not going to forget you. I'm not going to bail out on you. You know, this is something God has called me to do is preach the gospel of Jesus Christ and the gospel of good news, the gospel of love. And so that's exactly what I'm going to do. And I'm not... I can't stop doing that even today, you know, uh, like I was talking to Deborah and everything, my, my wife, you know, hey, I, I got to get a message out, you know, or, or it just keeps running and running over and it'll drive me crazy. So here we are <laughs> and I got to deliver my message and, you know, God willing, you, you'll receive this message as it's, you know, uh, meant and made for a wonderful, beautiful Sunday morning you know, message from, from Jesus Christ to you all. And so that's the thing in our lives. You know, I want you to recognize that, that if we surrender to God, surrender to Jesus, he, He's always got our best interest in mind. You know, the, the, the ways of man, uh, uh, we may think we know what we want. We may think we know where we're going. We, we may think we understand it. And our heart's own desire uh, sometimes can trick us, fool us along our way in our journey, but but when we surrender to God and His heart's desire and His stuff, I tell you what, there's no greater thing on earth than, than to be loved and to love. And that's where you're going to find joy and happiness, when pure true love has come together, and not just come together by the works of man's hands, but by the work of Jesus Christ, who's working through us each and every day, and all around us in, in that. And so, 
it was very easy to, to marry Deborah, even though I, you know, we, we haven't met or, uh, or ah, we met, we met three years ago, uh, a little bit, and then we just met recently, and we, we both understand that, you know, this is so God-driven, and we're so in love, and so perfect, she, she's like, uh, you know, the white to my black, you know, she, she's the flower to, 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 you know, my rose garden. <laughs> and and all these things and we're like the perfect perfect complement to one another you know where I'm weak she is strong and where she is weak I am strong and when we bring that together as a family and that's what I hope to show you you know and you're going to be seeing her as we completed the 12 step you know step 12 step program or the 12 steps to overcoming childhood abuse uh, Climbing to the throne of God. We'll finish that, but there's one more video left, and that's Deborah's te testimony. And then I hope and pray, and I hope you'd pray with me that God would bless that uh, set of videos, and, and that is we're going to now begin to write those into a book. And I'm going to write them into a book, word for word, exactly how it happened, exactly how it went. That way, you know, if, as you're reading the book, it's exactly as the Spirit is speaking out to you today and so pray for that and pray God would bless over that and protect over that as we uh, are now going to beginning to do that so so some of my time a lot of my time is going to be used up may not make as many videos as I was making before but I'll guarantee we'll always have a Saturday Sunday morning uh, videos uh, encouraging words helpful stuff and that's thing we'd like to show you and help you is here in the future videos, how do we, you know, now that we got the foundation of God and we got, we're got loving ourselves and, and we can accept the fact that we are God's children, we, we can accept the fact that we are who we are and, and we're good and now we're walking rightly with, with God. God gives you another, you know, because God is love and, and it's going to happen even for you guys, you know, each and every one of you don't think you're too old or, or uh, too out of date to, to be loved, you know. A lot of times in our own walks in life, we're, we're pretty rebellious. And we got to overcome that rebellion. We got to get rid of the rebellion and know that the, I have no control. God is in control. You know, and if we're upset and angry, we're upset and angry with God. Because He is in control. And he has a perfect plan for each one of our lives. So, so remember that. So we'd like to show you all, you know, a little bit about how we start and work each of our day. And to show you, you know, hey, you know, these men, we're supposed to be going to church and that, but you're supposed to become a disciple of Jesus Christ while you're at church learning all that stuff. You take all that information, those tools, those teachings and instructions, and then you take those back home and you begin to teach your children teach your family. You know, we're always here in this world, we want somebody else to teach our children. Take our children to the public schools, we want somebody else to teach our children. We take our schools to church and then they go into the kids program and we're always expecting somebody else to teach our children. Our children. Now, we're, we're supposed to become a disciple of Jesus Christ and when we become that disciple, we take the information that we have gotten and then we begin to create a, a little mini kingdom, a little mini church, you know, you got the big kingdom, you got the little churches, you know, or, you know, like us in America, you got the, the federal government, and then you got your local governments, you know, you got the governor, presidents, and then congressmen, and then governors, and then, you know, city council, and then the mayor, and, and then on down the line. Same with us in, in our lives. We need to, uh, Put this stuff to practice. We really need to put it to practice, not just by word, but, but in body and truth. You know, we need to live this stuff out. So you become king of your castle, king of your house. And if Jesus Christ is king of kings, lord of lords, he's always there. So each and every morning, we, before we get out of bed, we wake up with the glorious uh, good morning, a kiss. There's no greater thing on earth than here the the, the, the word of love 
And so with a great kiss and a good morning and love, and then we bring ourselves in with our tallit or our covering or prayer shawl. And yeah, sure, we use those things. It's special, man. You know, we don't use those things and worship them as idols. Yeah, we know we can pray and worship God at any moment, at any time, wherever we are, because He's spirit and in truth. But when we're together in your little house, you and your wife, and you're praying over her, praying blessings over her for a day, praying blessings over the children and for their day, playing a, a, a blessing for the city and the nation, the leaders, the teachers, everybody, and pray. Always begin your day in prayer. And when you do that together with two people, man, it's cool. It's mighty powerful. You wake up with an extra energy. You wake up with the spirit of the living God. Begin to start your day and walk out, and, and everything just goes smooth. I mean, the last three weeks of my life have been the greatest three weeks of my life. And it's true. There's nothing greater than love and real love. A love without lust. A love without greed. A just pure love. And we're probably the two poorest people on earth right now. In our eyes, we're really poor in society's fashion, but... We are so deeply rich in Jesus Christ, so deeply rich in the love of God and what he's blessing us with. You know, I couldn't ask for a better wife. She's, she's like the female me, you know, and, and it's just everything is great. Just so in, in, deeply in love with her and her family and now her family and wow, so great. And, and that's the thing, when, when, when love comes, God is love. God is love. God is that love of force. And when love, and we're walking in love, walking with God, yeah, the, everything melts away. We don't even need a clock, man. We don't even run our lives by clock, whatever. We want to wake up 3 o'clock in the morning, we do. We want to wake up at 1 o'clock in the morning, we do. We don't want to go to bed, we don't. It doesn't matter any time and every time when we're together. That right now, that moment, that time in life is just like, praise God. I thank God in heaven for, for all that he does. I mean, it's just like living in the glory of Jesus Christ. The sun doesn't matter. The moon doesn't matter. The star it just rolls up like a scroll and it's just thrown away. Oh, whatever I was doing in life and all of it, it's all failure. But, but now, with the grace of God and, and the love of God in our presence, it's the greatest thing on earth. It's the greatest thing on earth. And, and inside love, and I'll tell you the truth, inside love, perfect love, God's perfect love, you're not afraid anymore. Not afraid of the war anymore. Not afraid of the nations rising up against nations anymore. Not afraid of Muslims anymore. Not afraid of Islam anymore. Not afraid to die anymore. Especially when we're together. In the same room, in the same presence. It's, all fear is removed. That's the greatest thing on earth. All fear, worry, doubt, stress. It's just melting off of us and... and a major way. What what a blessing God has been. And, and I pray, Jesus Christ, oh, for our Father in heaven, let's pray. Jesus, our Father who lives in heaven, how mighty is your name. Come, Lord. Come with the mighty power of your kingdom. Come with the mighty power of your word. Come, Lord, and rest with us. Let your will be done here in this world. Let your will be done. Not ours, but yours. And let us trust in your will. Let us trust you, Father. Let us trust you with our lives and everything we have. Oh, how I thank you. With all my heart, I thank you. I think of your name. The wonders behind who you are. The name, our Father. When I... When I think of that name and how, how mighty you are, that you breathe galaxies and stars and moon, you breathe those things. I like the spittle of, of your breath. I'm blown away. 
fact that you write about, that you talk about, and you know my name, blown away. I pray that you would bless this video and anybody who watches it. Bless them with the eternal grace of your love and your joy. Fill their homes full of joy. Fill their homes full, full of great shouts of laughter, each and every one of them. Fill their homes. The mighty grace of Jesus Christ, you, Father, and the Spirit of you. Give us eyes to see and ears to hear. Give us wisdom today. Lead us into the paths of righteousness. It is your kingdom. It's your power. It's your glory. You are all sick. In the holiest of all names, in the name of Jesus Christ, amen. So, it's been a real awesome couple weeks. And it's we plan to continue, you know, sharing the gospel, making videos, all of those things. And I hope we continue to, to inspire you. To, to have hope for a better tomorrow. And that's the thing, you know, here in the YouTube world, I got over 900 videos there, so you can see with your own eyes the transformation of David and the restoration of David's tabernacle. As I was once in rags, but now can, can walk with the new covering and the covering and the glory of Jesus Christ and the empowerment that came through that spirit. You know, I want to remind you guys that back 20 years ago, you know, I had a great fear of being in public, speaking in public, speaking to anyone. And then God, by the grace of God, gives me the ability to speak to anybody I wish here in, in the YouTube world. And I pray you've been blessed. I couldn't speak to people. You know, there's a, there was a time when this conversation couldn't happen. But, but now, through the power of Jesus Christ, He can use even me. And if He can use me, a uh, wretch like me, He cer most certainly uh, can use you to do anything He, he wills to do. And, and so that's the thing, you know, most importantly, that, that me and Deborah and are coming together. We really had nothing to do with it. God had everything to do with it. And we had nothing to do with it. You know, it's like we've been chatting and talking and going over and talking about prayers and things that, that we've been talking about for 20, 30 years. And how God, when we pray, it's undeniable that, that God answers those prayers, not just for me, but, but for her as well. And, and a lot of those prayers and answered prayers have come just in these last few weeks, through our love for each other, through the revelation of Jesus Christ and who he really is, you know, and, and everything about it, it has been a, a great miracle, wonderful miracle, you know, and, and that's the thing, you know, when the Holy Spirit comes and, and baptizes you in, with fire, he, he you know, it's an empowering thing. It's a quickening of the body. It's a quickening of the heart. It's a transformation into a, a completely different life. But I want to remind you that, that a lot of this, you, you know, stay within the family. If you're not married or, or have a husband now, one's coming. Or, or a wife, one's coming. And if you stay within the family, the family of Jesus Christ, stay within that family, the family of believers, major, major empowerment comes. Because if one of us is empowered with the Spirit, and then two of us are empowered with the Spirit, and they come together, what a mighty force that that can be. Just not just for your children, but your children's friends, your, your neighbors. Everybody sees it. And when you're walking in total love, people see that too, man. Boy, they really want to be a part of that. Boy, I wish I could be like that couple. And, it, and it's not about bragging and boasting. It's about the transformation of our life, of how awesome it is to, to, to be walking in love. And, and not just in love, but with God as the center source. 
all of it. Waking up in the morning, praying, we've prayed hundred over a hundred times so far. And even in our lives, we, we at home, you know, made one of the closets and there's a special prayer room, prayer closet for, for all of us in the family and, and bless the home together. But like Jesus says, go into your room, go into your closet. Go into your secret place, and there the unseen God will answer your secret prayers. And how beautiful it is when God answers a prayer. It's overwhelming, I tell you. Overwhelming joy. Overwhelming happiness. Overwhelming transformation of your life. And we're all just tickled pink and... I just can't think, praise God enough, you know, no honor or glory goes to me, but only to the Father who has sent me, you know, and, and that's why a lot of my videos, you know, I'm covered, and I'll cover my head and stuff, and it's because, you know, you say, ah, that's dishonoring, you know, no, all honor and glory go to God, all honor and glory go to God. And so we must stay humble in all of our lives. That's the thing with our lives, you know. God will bless you and begin to prosper you, but the devil will come in and try and use that against you. You know, and that's the thing with Jesus. He's going to bless and, and prosper you over and over again so long as the kingdom is prospering, so long as his glory is prospering, so long as his salvation is prospering in, in our lives. And that's the thing with Jesus, you know. He says, don't worry. Don't be troubled. Hey, you guys, that there's going to be wars and rumors of wars and all that stuff. And persecution, hate, violence, murder. Everything we see today, that this has all been around for thousands of years. And nothing's new. Don't worry. Don't worry about it. Don't stress out about it. Don't worry about your food. Don't worry about your homes. Don't worry about your clothes. Get rid of those worries, guys. Let it go. World war, let it go. The end of the world, ah, who cares? Let it go. Let it go. We are eternal beings. And it's never going to stop being right now. And that's the thing. As soon as we're absent from the body, present with the Lord, it will always be now. And right now we have God our Father with us wherever we are. Wherever we are. And when two or more gather together in his name, blessed be those two, for there we will find Jesus. That's where we find the Christ. In our love, in the midst of our love for one another. And, and that's the thing, is in our lives. You got a hole in your life, you're feeling lonely, you need to come and talk and begin to talk and just slowly come out of that shell. Whether you're typing on the internet, in the Google world, whatever, start talking. Come out of that shell, guys. And you're going to find out that, that as we talk and manifest God's word <coughs> into our life, bring it into our reality. We don't have to worry. Jesus said all these things are going to happen, the death, the war, the rumors of war, the, the rising up of nations, world war, all that was going to happen. He said, don't be afraid of it. Don't be afraid of it. That's the thing with, with there in, in the book of Revelations, by the testimony of, of his children, the saints who, who believed in him. They, they finally came to a point in life where they accept their death. Or they're going to accept it. There's no rapture. There's no escape from this world. But we're going to accept it. We're going to accept the fact that, that we're going to live here 80, get our full 80, 70 years in, or whatever it is of our lives. And we need to learn how to deal with that. And we need to learn how to live in this. And we need to learn how to be a part of this world. And a, and a lot of it comes from the worry and stress of looking out of what other people are doing. All we have control over is us and what we're doing. 
And when we change it and decide to do, pick up our bootstraps and pick up our life and put Jesus Christ as the focus of our life. Number one, focus. Seek ye first the kingdom of heaven. And then all these things will be added unto you. Right? Seek the kingdom first. That 12 steps into the kingdom of heaven is truth. All from the grace of God. And it's going to transform your life. All you got to do is want it. And you got to want to be a part of it. And I'm a, I'm a eyewitness testimony that it has, by the grace of God, I didn't come up with this stuff in my own mind or my own life, but by the grace of God, just kept each and every day waking up saying, I'm open. I'm here for your father. I just, I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know what today is going to bring. And boy, I certainly can't go to tomorrow because today has enough worry of its own. So all I got now, really, I, I don't even know if I got five minutes or ten minutes from now, but right now, I'm open and I'm willing to, to be your servant, to give you all I got, Lord. And as a thank you for, for speaking to me. He spoke to me. He unveiled himself to me. Jesus Christ, our Father in heaven, speaks to, to little old David, little old me. He don't just speak about me, he write in a book about me. So he never forgets who I am. So you will never forget who I am. Not only has he done that for me, he's done that for you. You as well. They know your name in heaven. God, it's spoken in heaven, your name. He speaks of you all the time. He loves you. It's all his heart. Just love yourself. I have all of these videos. It's about love. What is love? Love yourself. And when you can love yourself enough to stand in the glory of God's presence in nakedness, without guilt or shame, people are going to like you. They'll like you again. And not only are they going to like you, they're going to want to you're going to become contagious to them. And they can't get enough of you. Not just me, you. You can't get enough of you. Pray for your brothers and sisters in their presence. Pray for your wife in her presence. Grab a damn blanket, wipe your, wrap your wife in that. Pray for her. Transform your family, man. Transform your life. Grab your kids and wrap them in a blanket and pray over them. Speak life over their bones. Speak life over them. Bless them. God gives you the power. Then if you bless them, he will bless you. Anyone who blesses you, he will bless. And anyone who curses you, he will curse. Become a blessing to your family and your life. Pray. Thank God. Pray when you're at dinner with your wife. Cooking. Heavenly Father, come and rain your spirit into our food. Rain your nourishment into us. And I thank God for, for, for the preparer of this food. Love each other. It's love. Now do we love each other? And when the log's out of my eye and I can finally love myself, Jesus Christ, both it's all my heart, mind, and soul. I love your neighbor as yourself. Be willing to, to entertain strangers. You never know what's going to come knocking on your door. Maybe an angel of God come walking in that door. Can you trust in him? And I'll show you the effects of being able to trust in God with all your heart, mind, and soul. He will reward you with the crown of glory. A wife is the crown of glory. Not just a wife, but an everlasting wife. In the same way the bride of Christ, the, the church of, uh, of Christ, all believers being you. Can you believe you personally? The bride of the living Christ. The living God. 
who lives in us, man. He, he's in all flesh of us. Flesh of the world. It's Emmanuel. God who dwells with his family, with his children. He's our father, and, and he lives with us. It's like father does. He's not our stepfather. He's not our fake father. He's not the father that's never home. He's our father. He's with us always. Like a real dad does. God's not a weekend warrior. Sunday man. He's not a Saturday man. He's not a weekend warrior. Our dad. He's a full time 24 hour dad. In, in, in our homes, when we grasp onto it, he asks you to do the same for your children, same for your wife. Be a 24-hour dad, father, lover, caretaker, provider. You know, that's the thing. And we don't need riches of the world to do that. Love and kindness, and gentleness and nurturing goes is so much richer than gold and silver, cars and homes. Don't worry about these homes. I mean, the stuff is dead. Everything you see is dead and is reserved for the fire. But he says, I can make you a home. I'll build you a home. And in that home, certainly I'll deliver to you to it. I'll bring you into it. A home of rest and peace. To complete restoration. Complete restoration. Peace with God. And men. Become a viable piece of God's puzzle. Become a, a working member of the kingdom of God. Don't think you're so small that, that, that your own home, your own home, couldn't be accepted as a part of God's kingdom. You know, that's the thing. We're scattered all over the world, wherever we may be. I don't even know where you may be today. But in that, in the grace of God, he has the ability and the power to, to bring us together, to comfort each other, to help each other, to encourage one another, to lift each other up. That's what Jesus says, just as Moses lifted up the serpent in the desert. When you lift up the Son of God, the Son of Man, He will draw all things to Him. He will draw all things to him. Right? The word of God is will not come void. He will draw all things to him. And when you can understand that, that you are the temple of the living God and, and Jesus Christ, this is the mystery hidden from the beginning of the world. He already came and he came in the flesh and he lives in you. lives in you. It's lift him up, oh God. How thankful I am. How thankful we are. Father, I ask that you would rise up, men and women, for you. Rise their dead bones up. Breathe life into this video. Breathe life into these homes and these people and children to know there is a way out of any dark world. There's a way out of drugs. There's a way out of alcohol. There's a way out of mental illness. There's a way out of broken bodies. There's a way out of this world. Jesus, Jesus, reign your love and your mercy into these people's hearts and minds. Rain, fulfillment of your word. Open our eyes and our ears to hear, to see that there is a better way, that there's your way, there's law and there's order in your way, and it is you who orders our steps and has law over the dark forces. Let our feet run, Father, to your kingdom. 
put no stumbling stones in our way so we may do this freely. Forgive us, Father, for our wrongdoing. And bless those who we have wronged, Father, so they may find forgiveness with us. Let us find favor in the hearts and minds of our neighbors and our families. And our workers, co-workers, our bosses, and our countrymen. Let us find favor within their hearts. We are the children of your promise. The promise of Abraham is given to all men. Accept us into your kingdom, O Lord. Allow us to be in, in your rest, in your love, in your mercies, in your grace. Rise up these dead bones. Let us rise you up, O Father, and exalt your holy name. So I thank you. I thank you for my family. I thank you for my friends. I thank you for my boys. I thank you, God, for my salvation. And I thank you, God, for Deborah and her family. Watch over her, guide over her, and protect over her. Watch over me and guide over me and protect me. Protect me from you and protect her from me. Protect those who are watching this video from me. Deliver us out of the hand of the evil one. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory. In the holy name of Saul. In the name of above all names, in the name of Jesus Christ, we do pray. Amen. See you next time.